Hey everybody, real quick, this is a tutorial on how to get your Roll20 Hexkit Fantasyland purchase off of Roll20 and into the Hexkit desktop app. Now this is kind of tedious, um, but it was the best solution we could come up with without having to make you buy Fantasyland again. Um, so we saved you some money, but at the cost of having to do a little bit of work to get it right. Um, you could just download Fantasyland from Roll20 and import each file into Hexkit, but then they won't work the right way. So what we've done is we've provided a folder structure download that you can grab, and then you can move your Roll20 tiles after you've downloaded them into the new folder and then import that into Hexkit. So the first thing you need to do is get your Hexkit Fantasyland download from Roll20. Downloads are enabled, so you should be able to just hit download complete set. Um, so, wrong button. We're going to do that. Download complete set. So it's downloading all the hex kit tiles. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this link, which I'll provide in the description or nearby this video, wherever you're watching it. That way you don't have to listen and type it as I talk. Um, so you can just copy and paste it. go and that will download the file structure that you need once those have downloaded navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you save those let's close this and get those two zip files I'm gonna bring them to the desktop to make it easier so the first one you want to open is the fantasyland zip file this is the file structure and you take that folder in there, Fantasyland, and drag it to the desktop. And if you open it up and take a look inside, you'll see that all of these folders are empty. So what we've got to do is we've got to move those Roll20 assets into these folders. So get the zip you got from Roll20 and extract that to a new folder somewhere. So we're going to just select all these tiles and drag them into our new folder and that's going to extract them all. One thousand one hundred forty eight items. Yep. Going, 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 going. Aha! They're starting to appear. Good news. So all of these tiles are alphabetized. Should make this really easy. So we've got our Roll20 assets and we've got our file structure. First thing we're going to do is select the first Arctic tile and scroll to the last one and select all of them and move them into this Arctic folder. The next thing you're going to do is the Badlands. Same thing, right into the Badland folder. We missed some. Let's do the rest. The blank ones are included with the file structure. And the canyon ones I skipped because I don't like them and there's better canyon ones coming soon. So you can just delete them. So we got the coasts, bring the coasts in. And you're basically going to repeat this until you've gotten all the, um, all the tiles in the right folder. So the next one is the Coniferous forests, these green trees, select them all, bring them to the Coniferous Forest folder. Perfect. Um, so repeat this process until you've got them all. Dead trees into the dead tree folder. Desert. right into the 
wizard folder. What's next? Farmland. Yep. Okay, so do that. Once you have moved all of the Roll20 um, files into the new folders, you're going to have, like I said, these canyon ones will be left over and these blank ones will be left over. Just delete them. Delete your new folder. And then you need to take that Fantasyland folder with all the new pristine uh, Fantasyland tiles in it and move it somewhere permanent, wherever you want to keep your hex kit tiles. I'm going to move it to the hex kit folder. And then you open up hex kit. Once hex kit is open, go to file, import tiles, go to wherever you put that folder. Uh, I put mine in my hex kit folder. Select it, hit select folder. And then when the import settings box, box comes up, don't change anything, just hit save. And there you go. Just like that. Um, again, just a quick recap. <clears throat> download the Roll20 uh, Fantasyland pack, download the file structure, transfer the Roll20 Fantasyland version to those new folders, and then import the Fantasyland folder. Um, again, I'm sorry, I know that's a little bit of work to make it happen, but it was either do this or make people buy Fantasyland again, and I just didn't want to do that. Uh, if you need any help, let me know on Twitter or the forums or something like that, and I, if I can, I'll walk you through it. Um, again, download Roll20 Fantasyland, download files, take the Roll20 Fantasyland tiles and put them in the new folders, import the folder. Thanks.